Lawmakers are pushing to give more churches more rights for bringing guns into their houses of worship. Now that includes church schools as well. Capitol reporter Haley Mason is talking to the lawmaker and church groups that are pushing for this. Haley. Tracy, this bill is being pushed by the Georgia Baptist Mission Board. They're a group with more than 1.3 million Georgia churchgoers, and they say this bill to carry guns inside the church is really about church rights. But this is what they're trying to do. Representative Bill Heath is leading the effort, and he tells me he was motivated to write this bill after witnessing a recent church shooting in White Settlement, Texas. He says that he thought having an effective security team like he saw uh, could keep churches here pretty safe. He says this bill is allowed to have, would make churches designate groups of people in their churches to carry firearms. It's about choice. Instead of them just having to opt in or out of carry, they can actually choose if they want certain people to carry guns. It's a, it would be a free for all under current law, who could carry or who doesn't need to. But this bill would make it so that churches can use some discernment to say who, when, where, and why not. Proponents say that churches should have the right to choose, and they say that churches that have schools on their property should also be per permitted to have gun carriers as well in the school building and on the school property if it sits on a church property. It will be up to the church to decide if training is needed at all. The Georgia Baptist Mission Board has been backing this bill. But it does offer additional options for those churches that might not be able to afford a law enforcement officer. I believe that we owe it to our churches to give them options to protect their congregants. And you may also be able to develop the kind of policy that you would like as a church as far as to when and who and how they can be used in the church. So now this bill is really an update to current state laws. It's moving presently through the Judiciary Committee. Reporting live at the State Capitol, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News. Haley, thank